Youth advocates and the Stockton community are frustrated after a series of shootings. A 15-year-old is dead and a 16-year-old is hurt in a shooting just yesterday afternoon. Our Roxana Elias reports from where it happened in downtown Stockton. Chris and Laura, Tony McNeil wants the community to know that they can be part of the solution. She says that her message is if the youth is not okay, then the community is not okay. And as you can see here behind me, a growing memorial with candles and flowers at the same location where this teen was found dead. A Stockton 15 year old is dead after a shooting near the waterfront at 430 Monday afternoon. It was senseless. It didn't, it didn't, uh, it was, it wasn't necessary. If I took it, excuse me. Pete Valverde was sitting at a nearby bench when he saw what he describes as two young men fighting. They're squaring off to, to, on each other, and then the, the other guy, I, I believe it's what I, you know, he put out a gun and just boom, boom, and then after, after the two shots, bam, 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 he's shooting over here. And mo I think most of the shots he, he shot this way. Stockton police found two teenage boys, 15 and 16, with gunshot wounds. The Stockton Unified School District later confirmed the teen who died was a student at Franklin High School. Tony McNeil, the executive director of Concrete Development Inc., says there is major concern and there are many organizations working and centering their attention on youth. However, it almost feels like um, you, if you feel frustrated because you don't feel like you can move fast enough, like we can provide resources fast enough in order to alleviate um, the pressure, the pain, and the trauma within our community. McNeil says no one thing is causing the shootings, and she believes those most affected by the violence need to be the ones invited to the table to offer solutions. It is all hands on deck, um, and we need to make sure that our communities feel empowered. Um, when we say community-based organizations, I I'm wondering if we're even using the right language that invites the community into becoming a part of the solution. Um, because the community, we are what we need in the community. McNeil says she and other community based organizations are going to be doing a door knocking and outreach in some of the most needed areas here. They'll be connecting with families and neighbors to resources. In the meantime, Stockton police say that detectives are looking at leads right now and at other evidence. Chris Laura back to you in studio.